and here it goes. Three, two, one, go. Oh. What's up, amigos? Welcome to Neatest Garage Studios. Haven't posted in a long time because I have little kids, and that's what brings me to this. My kids are competing in the Cub Scouts Pinewood Derby this weekend, and the adults in the pack are also, some of them are competing in what's called a outlaw class. So there's no rules. Our cars don't have to conform to the, the Boy Scouts of America rules or any other rules. As long as they're safe, we're going to be able to run them. So here's what I came up with. It's a CO2 powered car. A little bit of inspiration came from a guy on YouTube who used a similar valve to this. I think it's the exact same valve made by Genuine Innovations. Um, so I, uh, I took some aspects of his design, but I wanted to keep my car looking more Pinewood Derby traditional, which I don't know if it really does after adding all this stuff to it, but it does have that typical wedgy muscle car shaped body to it. And then uh, I made this. So what happens is, is this valve moves up and down. You can see here, it moves up and it moves down. And what I have done is made a little mouse trap trigger thingy to trigger it. So this little deal holds the, holds it in place. And then if the car gets a little bump, and the way I trigger the device is the way I give the bump is in our, our track, and I don't know if other Pinewood Derby tracks are like this, but our track has like a pin that the car has to lean up against, and then when the pin is dropped out of the way, the uh, car rolls down with gravity. So what happens here is this pin will be removed, the car will roll forward, this little stand I've put it on will drop the car from the back, it'll give it a little bump, this trigger should pull itself out of the way and these rubber bands should collapse this valve into the on or open position and then that CO2 will flow into the valve and out of these exhaust pipes here. So three, or you'll just look for this to move out of the way and for this to collapse. Three, two, one. You see that? As I dropped it, it bumped it, it the trigger pulled itself out of the way and then what happens is the CO2 comes through a T similar to this but smaller that I uh, I used the ABS plastic so it'd be it's a black one and I bent these into like a U shape by heating them up and then bending them and then that way I was able to connect this part of the T to the valve through the body like that and then these which are now would be bent in that U shape connect to some I think this is vinyl tubing it's clear and then that vinyl tubing connects to these little cheap pen bodies that I drilled the holes bigger in just so they could have a little more flow. And so when that drops, the CO2 is pushed or let, allowed through the valve and out the exhaust and then thrust is created here and the car zooms down the track. Pretty simple. Uh, the things I did buy was this Genuine Innovations valve. I'm sure there's other valves out there. I actually did see some on Amazon. I'll I'll try to put a link to this in my description. Um, I got this spring from the hardware store. Um, the CO2s I got off of Amazon. <clears throat> the Pinewood Derby body was actually just the BSA Pinewood Derby body and Pinewood Derby wheels. Uh, I drilled these ones in the rear out. I did have drilled ones in the front out, but I did I had to replace them because I did a test run. We did a test and tune night with the, the pack. And my car ended on the other side of the track with so much force that it broke out my drilled wheel. And it also bent my two front axles pretty badly. So I think I'll throw a pillow or something at the end of the track. Um, that's my little car. I guess I can, let's see, what else is in here? My little stand here is just, I welded two little paper clips together. They're those type of paper clips that you bundle big pieces, of, big chunks of paper together with. And I just cut the metal spring part. I don't know if you call it a spring, but something similar to this. I cut that apart and then just screwed it to the edge of the car. I have this screw and washer holding tight. Um, the vinyl tubing with the pen bodies because as it, the valve would release, it would shoot out these 
it would actually shoot out the pen bodies. And then what I also did, let's see if I have an extra valve here. I thought I had one. Oh, yeah, so here's a valve I kind of ruined. <clears throat> um, I took a, a drill bit. We'll pretend that it's the real valve, but this one I ruined by too, using too big of a drill bit. But I used a drill bit to uh, drill into the uh, pin that punctures the CO2. And then I ran the bit all the way through, you see that hole, and made it bigger to let the gas flow through a lot faster, which it helps a lot. And then, come around. And then I drilled this hole out, which was very much smaller, uh, to make it let the gas flow quickly. So right now when this thing drops, the gas probably flows out, I don't know, maybe has one second of boost and then it's out. It expends the whole cartridge that quickly. It's a 16 gram cartridge. Um, so it's pretty cool. That's my car. Um, one thing I found was that the brand that the brand of Genuine Innovations brand cartridges that are used on this, they don't puncture as well as <clears throat> as like these generic ones. Or I don't know if they're generic. I think they're Red Rock. These Red Rock ones seem to puncture a lot easier. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus here. See that hole is real nice and open. These genuine innovation ones don't really open all the way. They open, and that'd be perfect if you're inflating your bicycle tire. It would just fill up nice and smooth and fairly quickly. But when I use this, I just can't get it to puncture all the way, and then that makes my car not go very fast. It goes, but it just doesn't go fast. This one almost makes the car... If it were any faster than it is now, it would be just too fast. But... Right now, I think it's perfect. Uh, every time I'm having a, yeah, let's see. Reliability wise, I don't think the trigger is as nice or as good as the other video of the one I got inspiration from. But I also, I just like the look of my car a little bit uh, more. And it is fairly reliable. Every once in a while, it'll trigger late. And then I think in a race with other cars that are similar, that might cause it to lose, but let's do one more time. Oh, there's the pin. Three, two, one. Yeah, and so I would say the last 10 times I've done it, it's gone that fast. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll try to answer it. Um, good luck at your Pinewood Derby.